His first touch was like a trampoline. I didn't say that. The former Republic of Ireland player Andy Keogh did, and he was full-on ruthless in describing the abilities of the former Olympian. He's not going to make it. Sure, the A-League getting some attention is cool, but bold playing here? That's a hard pass from me. Think of it yourself. Did you ever think people would say this about the fastest man on the planet? But that is life, folks, and it comes at you very fast. Something similar happened with Usain, who had a terrible football career, and mind you, I'm saying terrible with all due respect. The Jamaican legend was spotted at Old Trafford last year for the Red Devils FA Cup quarter-final against Fulham. Having finally stuck to being a spectator and realising he hasn't got it in him to be a footballer. But why did Usain Bolt fail to become a footballer? He says it was because of the A-League. Is this the reality? You guys will know shortly. But before that, please press the sub button and help us reach 1k subs. Retiring from his legendary sprinting career in 2017, the fastest guy on the planet decided to chase a new dream. Becoming a pro footballer. He was just 30 at the time, and although many footballers retire at that time, this is Bolt we're talking about, right? He was faster than light and thought, why not give it a try? As he firmly believed he had the skills to make it in the top league. He told everyone, it's a personal thing. I don't care what people think. It's a dream, a new chapter I want to explore. If you have a dream, you owe it to yourself to see where it leads. He chased the dream and chased it hard. Bolt wanted to play for his beloved Manchester United. Still, it was Borussia Dortmund that gave him a two-day trial in March 2018, and he finally had his lucky break after training with the South African team Mamalodi Sundowns in January. A big club came calling and he had to answer. It was his time to step up among the big boys in true Bolt fashion. He took on the challenge with his trademark enthusiasm and speed, showing the world that he's always up for a new adventure. The training started, and after the first session, Bolt rated himself a 7 out of 10. Yeah, you always overhype your own self, but was he really overexciting? The German club promised to give the Olympic legend a realistic assessment of his chances. They did, and as it turned out, he was hyping himself up after all. Coach Peter Stodger was brutally honest. If he wants to make it at the highest level, he still has a lot of work to do. At his age, there is not much room for that development. Unfortunately, Bolt didn't score a professional contract with Dortmund. Don't worry, no player has it this easy, right? No pain, no gain. And Bolt was in all moods to gain a professional contract, so he joined the Australian side Central Coast Marinas in August 2018 for an indefinite training period after a stint with Norwegian club Stroms Godset, where he played in a friendly against Norway's under-19s. This time the results were positive, and during his eight-week trial down under, Bolt played in a pre-season friendly against MacArthur Southwest United as well, scoring two goals and boosting his chances of going pro. Sporting the number 95 shirt, a nod to his record-breaking 100-meter time, Bolt played as a forward, wreaking havoc on the opposition defense whenever he had room to stretch those famous long legs. After the match, he told the Guardian, I think I've improved in every area. My touch is a bit better, my vision still needs work, but my off-the-ball movement has improved the most. Bolt, who had already turned down a two-year deal with Maltese champions Valletta, reportedly impressed Central Coast Marinas enough to be offered a contract after his trial period. His agent, Ricky Sims, told The Mirror in October 2018, Yes, Usain Bolt has been offered a contract. I do not want to make any further comment at this stage. He had grabbed his lucky break. But hold on, wait a minute. There is a reason this video is titled, Why Did Usain Bolt Fail as a Footballer? God had other things planned for him, as the Marina's manager, Mike Mulvey, claimed he was unaware of any such offer. There was a bit of mystery to Bolt's football journey, leaving fans wondering what would happen next. The situation cleared after a month, with Bolt leaving the Australian club because they couldn't meet his reported $3 million wage demands. They needed a third party to finance the deal, but alas, the talks fell through. Speaking of his departure, Bolt added, I would like to thank the Central Coast Marina's owners, management, staff, players and fans for making me feel so welcome during my time there. The club's owners were equally happy with him, saying he integrated very well into the team and made great strides as a footballer. Although his football journey with the Marinas ended, Bolt's time there left a memorable mark on both the club and its fans. What next now? Should he give up? Football is a tough sport. No matter how good you are, 
flourishing is a huge ask. Well, as things turned out, he gave up on his dream in January 2019. Bolt announced to the world that he was no longer pursuing his dream of becoming a footballer. It was fun while it lasted, he said. I don't want to say it wasn't dealt with properly, but I think we went about it not the way we should. You live and you learn. It was a good experience. I enjoyed just being in a team. Now I'm moving into different businesses. I have a lot of things in the pipeline. So as I say, I'm just dabbling in everything and trying to become a businessman now. As the fastest man alive, Speed was always his superpower and he has zero regrets about trying his luck in a different sport. Bolt chatted with ITV Sport about his adventure as a footballer, including the training stint with Borussia Dortmund. He said, I've always wanted to give it a whirl. I love watching the game, so I thought, why not? I gave it my all, but it didn't pan out as I'd hoped. Still, I had a great time trying. Then he quipped, I play striker. With my speed, I'm quicker than Rashi. You may be quicker than Rashford, but if only being fast was enough to be a good footballer, it isn't. Berbatov wasn't quick at all, but look what he achieved. Sure, players like Bale were literal rockets on the field, but you gotta have some sort of skill, right? Sadly, Bolt didn't have that, although it did take some time for him to accept it. In fact, Bolt blamed the poor quality of the A-League for his failures, admitting that signing with Central Coast Mariners was a mistake. In an interview ahead of the UNICEF Soccer Aid charity match, he didn't mince his words, stating, I made a mistake. When I retired from track and field, I didn't want to stay in Europe because of the media. I went to Australia, but the level of football there wasn't good. I should have stayed in Europe. After a year of trials, I just said, you know what, let's just move on from that. So I moved on. He also admitted that professional soccer was tougher than anticipated as he reflected on his time with the Marinas. Bolt found the challenge more demanding than he expected, adding another twist to his adventurous post-athletic journey. Understandably, the A-League didn't like these remarks, and neither did Australians. Brilliant athlete, but nowhere near a pro footballer. Thank goodness these sorts of PR stunts are long gone, remarked A-League journalist Sasha Pisani, echoing a sentiment shared by many. Pisani even joked that Bolt thinks he's Cristiano Ronaldo. Honestly, it was not a good move. Yeah, it brought the A-League into the spotlight, but in hindsight, it was an ill-advised move for all involved. Other set of excuses coming from him included his firm belief that he never got a proper chance to showcase his skills. Yes, I think I didn't get a fair chance, Bolt told Wide World of Sports. I didn't do it how I wanted to, but it's something I think I would have been good at. Whether it was the A-League or the lack of opportunities, what one can firmly affirm is the fact that he was not good. Not at all a legendary athlete, a terrible footballer. But guess what? Even though Bolt's dream of going pro didn't quite pan out, his passion for football never waned. He has showcased his skills on Soccer Aid, gracing the field in 2018, 2019, 2021 and 2023. He even scored in the 2019 edition, capitalising on a blunder by Liverpool legend Jamie Carragher to notch a goal for the rest of the world against England. Despite the setbacks in his professional football pursuit, Bolt continued to shine on the pitch proving his love for the game was unstoppable. He is also a die-hard Man United fan, frequently tweeting about them on X, especially after big games. Though he once dreamed of playing for his favourite team, his brief fling with pro football Bruh. taught him that the game's got loads of levels. And it's like levels of Super Mario. Only the superstars get to the top.